The following summary has been extracted from vinendakblog.com. The Grievelands of Africa by Agostino Neto. Summary of the poem. This is a full summary of the poem. We're going to start from poet's background. Poet's background. Agostino Neto was born on 17th September 1922. He was the first president of Angola between 1975 and 1979 under the popular movement for liberation of Angola. His bitter experience with Portuguese colonial policy in Angola had earned his hatred for European colonialism. All his hard work focused on human rights, survival, and celebration of Mother Africa. He died on 10th September 1979. Subject Meta plot account. This poem is based on the colonization of the Angola by the Portuguese. The Grievelands of Africa means the entire population of African people who were in pain as a result of ancient modern slave. The common men that claimed their right were brutalized in Angola. Angolans and other Africans were physically and psychologically depressed with the use of iron fire iron and fire which means gun to silent africans africans were denied freedom of speech and human rights were violated during colonial period in angola the colonial masters made life difficult for africans while they enjoyed themselves slaves were seriously punished the poet the poet condemned the violent death of slaves even the crepes thrown up by the athletic input it of offering of incoherence and death. Despite the intimidation, Africans maintain their culture, values and traditions. The honest blood of men, the strong desire of men, the sincerity, this means to sustain their dreams. Finally, the poet stated that Africans will win their land back from unwanted visitors because we are living and are imperishable particles. It is a sign of hope of freedom for Angola and the entire African continent. So guys, we are done with the background. Now we are going to the theme. Themes from the poem. We are going to focus the themes from the poem. We are going to start with slavery. Okay, slavery. The poet listed the sufferings of Angonians, dilemmas and hostile, hostilities that the African slaves were subject to. to. The poet listed the sufferings of Angonians, dilemmas, and hostilities that the African slaves were subjected to. The poet expresses sorrow from about slave trade, the tearful worth of Asian modern slave. It is a reflection of the colonial era in the past. Hope. The poet passed the message of hope to Africans. So the poet passed the message of hope to Africans. He believes that Africans will come out of all odds and survive because we are living and we are imperishable particle. Exploitation. The white came to Africa continent to deprive us of our personal belongings. As you know, as you know in the past what the whites did to the black. The colonial master stole what belonged to Africans to develop themselves and live a better life while African continent is backward till date. Death. Africans were badly treated. In the past, Africans were badly treated. They went through pains and died in the process. Those who died were not properly buried during transit to Europe. Some were thrown into open sea. Literary and poetic device. Repetition. It is when a word, phrase, or sentence is used more than once in a poem. That's repetition. The poet repeated the expression, the Grievelands of Africa, several times. In line 1, 6, 12, 16, 29, 38, and 39. They live is repeated twice while dream and dream or dreams were repeated twice respectively. Lines 28 and 35. 12 and 18. The purpose is to emphasize the African worst due to sufferings by colonialism and slavery imaginary. Let me repeat again. The purpose 
is to emphasize the Africa was due to sufferings of colonialism and slavery. Now we are going to imagery. Imagery. This is a creation of mental picture. As you know, guys, a, a, a image is a picture. This is a creation of mental picture or auditory to both the mind and the ear of the listeners. The auditory imagery is jingling of goalless keys, is metallic sound of jealous keys. Flowers cast in the forest is an example of mental picture. The flowers is the Africans that are destroyed or cast in the continent. Personification. This is the transfer of the quality of animated object into an inanimate object. I'm going to repeat again. Personification. Because this one always appear on exam. They don't miss this one. Personification. It always appear. This is a transfer of quality of animate object into inanimate object. So it's basically not something that is even realistic. So I'm going to repeat for the last time. Personification. This is a transfer of quality of animate object into inanimate object. Into inanimate object. Let's continue. The title of the poem is Personified. The grief the grief the lens. This means the social condition of the masses. The grief lens means the social condition of the masses. I hope you guys hear well. The grief the lens means the social condition of the masses. The land cannot be in sorrow like human beings. The grief lens this is personification because you guys know that lens cannot grieve. So it is not realistic. So it's personification, but it has a specific meaning. As I said, it means the social condition of masses. The land cannot be in sorrow like human beings. It is the African people that are in deep sorrow due to the evil of slavery and colonialism, not the land. Metaphor. It is a comparison of two unlike things without the use of as and like the flower is the poor African masses while crushed means to destroy the forest also depicts African continent. I'm repeating again. Metaphor. It is the comparison of the of two unlike things without the use of as and like the flower like the flower is the poor African masses while Christ means to destroy the forest also depicts African continent. The imperishable particles is a metaphor for Africans who believe in a brighter future for the continent. So guys, the imperishable particles is a metaphor for Africans who believe in a brighter future for continents. Oxymoron. This is when two contrasting terms are used in a brief phrase. The poet used the phrase victorious voice of laminance. In fact, there is victory in the lamentation of Osaru. The celebration becomes sorrowful because this colonial power frustrates their plans to get self government. Language. The poet's choice of Wait. The poet used simple expressions and words to express his mind towards colonial administration. The poet uses words and phrases like tearful, worse, degrading, sweet, impure, dense, crushed in the forest. All these were used to show the negative influence of slavery and colonialism in Africa. So guys, this is it. This is the whole poem. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. And there are also other videos of poem summaries for Great Levens, which are the shanty towns. Check the videos. Check inside the, the channel the videos. There are shanty towns, the cold poem summary, the sleeping black boy summary. Check there, guys. Watch the videos. It's a must to watch.
in order to pass.